by taking our seat in meditation, by finding our own stable, comfortable position, scanning through the physical body with our awareness, try to find any places of tension, and relax, breathe into them and relax them away. Keeping an awareness of the spine being straight and the torso upright, not slouching or leaning. but never doing anything that brings discomfort. Allowing the body to just rest in its own comfortable, stable position. Briefly allowing ourselves to come into contact with the weight of the body on the cushion or chair. Feeling grounded and embodied. Then begin to withdraw your engagement, your mental engagement from objects of the senses and also any objects, mental objects of the past or present or past or future, concentrating your mind in the present using the physical sensation of the breath as it passes into and back out of the tip of the nostrils to try to hold your awareness in the present moment. Breathing naturally, normally, but just letting go again and again of anything that grabs your attention that isn't that present moment physical sensation. Again and again, releasing and bringing the mind back to the object.
And when the mind is calm, set a virtuous intention for your time. We'll do another visualization meditation today using the embodiment of compassion of Lokateshvara, of Chandrezi. So compassion is the wish for oneself and all other sentient beings to be free of suffering and its causes. So try to very strongly think that the purpose of your time today and the purpose of your practice isn't only to confront and to avert your own suffering, but also to be able to benefit others so that they can do the same. Now I've put an image of Chenrezig on the screen. So for the next minute, if you would like, you can gently open your eyes and try to become more familiar with the image so that when you visualize it, it's more detailed. Or you can continue to think about your motivation. And for the purposes of the meditation, do your best to rely mainly on an imagined visual perception. And if you need to, you can refer to the image. But mainly, we try to rely on that imagined image. So on the crown of the head of myself and all sentient beings is a white lotus and moon cushion. On top of that, from the syllable Hri, arises the supreme Arya Chenrezig, white and clear, radiating five-colored light rays, smiling and looking with eyes of compassion. Of his four arms, the palms of the first two are joined, and the lower two hold a crystal rosary and a white lotus. He is adorned with silk and precious jewelry and wears a deerskin upper garment. His head is adorned with Amitabha, and he's seated in the Vajra posture. And his nature is to encompass all of the objects of refuge.
So build that visualization very strongly, or at least try to have confidence that Chen Rezig's energy has been invoked, and that he's really present with you. And just be satisfied with whatever level of detail you can accomplish. And then make a heartfelt request to this embodiment of universal compassion. Lord, your body is white in color, unsoiled by faults. A complete Buddha adorns your head. You look at living beings with eyes of compassion. To you, Chen Rezig, I prostrate. Lord, your body is white in color, unsoiled by faults. A complete Buddha adorns your head. You look at living beings with eyes of compassion. To you, Chen Rezig, I prostrate. Lord, your body is white in color, unsoiled by faults. A complete Buddha adorns your head. You look at living beings with eyes of compassion. To you, Chen Rezig, I prostrate. So to feel that you're drawing closer to this energy through your heartfelt aspiration and request. Homage. <laughs> Having made such requests, visualize that light rays and nectars radiate from the body of Arya Chinrezig and purify your karmic, mistaken karmic appearances, delusions, defilements, obscurations. These light rays and nectars enter the crown of your head, filling your body and mind 
purifying you in that way. Also visualizing being surrounded by sentient beings, each with Chenrezig above their heads and each being purified in the same way. Think very strongly that the environment, the ordinary environment, becomes Sukhavati, pure land. And the body, speech, and mind of its inhabitants, all living beings, become the body, speech, and mind of the all-powerful Chenrezig. And that appearance, sound, and awareness become inseparable from the nature of reality, its emptiness. With that reflection, we'll recite the mantra in Chenrezig. 
This version of the mantra has free added at the end. So it's Omani Padme Hum free. 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 Just recite that mantra gently to yourself.
in reflecting on this transformation, try to see how the fact that the subject, the object, and the action all lacking inherent self-supporting existence is what allows for transformation. So try to hold your mind in a state of non-conceptuality, Seeing that independence upon practice, the mind, is what can transform because the mind lacks its own inherent nature. And objects and actions similarly lack their own inherent nature. So they're suitable to be transformed like this. very strongly that the bodies of myself and others appear as bodies of the aria, and the resonance of sounds as the melody of the six syllables, and thoughts and conceptualizations are the expanse of great exalted wisdom. Then we'll come back and dedicate. Due to this virtue, may I quickly become powerful Chenrezig and lead all living beings, without exception, into that exalted state. May the supreme thought bodhicitta that has not arisen Arise and grow. May that which has arisen not diminish, but increase more and more. In the snowy mountain paradise, you, the source of good and happiness, all powerful Chenrezig Tenzin Gyatso, please remain until samsara ends. Thank you. Thank you.